we look at a past defense that's ranked number one nationally, I mean, maybe it's a result of who they've played so far. What, what are you seeing from them? Well, they look pretty good on defense. Um, I mean, they, they, they run some pretty, you know, a pretty base defense where, I mean, whatever it, you, you're seeing is what they're going to run. I mean, they're, they're not really tricky where they're trying to disguise many coverages. And, um, you know, Coach Hogan and those guys will do a great job of drawing up a game plan, and we just got to go out and execute it. What have you seen from Bowie and his emergence here? Well, Bowie, he, he's been stepping up pretty big this year. Um, you know, Sean went down kind of early, you know, was bruised up and wasn't able to play with us for the last two games. But Bowie's, you know, stepped up a whole lot and, you know, showed a lot of maturity out there on the field to, you know, just rise to the occasion. Obviously, he's got the ability because he won the job coming out of last year before some things happened. Just what does he do well? Well, he's a, he's a very hard runner. Um, he, do, he doesn't, you know, necessarily let the first guy bring him down unless it's probably like a defensive lineman or something. Um, he's always fighting to get extra yards, and um, he's pretty shifty as well. So um, I guess that brings a lot, well, a couple different things to the table than what Sean brings, but um, he's a pretty good back. I, mean, I wanted to ask, uh, last year a point of emphasis was make sure, you know, the offense is rooting for the defense and vice versa on the sideline, keeping that energy up. I don't think you guys maybe got any more excited than when Pat Miller had that breakup on the 4th and 13. For a guy who, you know, kind of gets drugged through the mud, you know, in terms of media, fan perception, stuff like that, and comes up with a play like that, how big was that for the rest of the team? I mean, you guys pretty much spilled over on the field as if the game was over. Well, that was huge, you know. Um, Pat probably hasn't been playing, you know, his best game all year. But I mean, when, he, when we needed him the most, you know, it was fourth and thirteen. Those guys decided to throw one up. You know, he came up with a big play, and you know, usually, you know, throughout the year, that might be a play that you know might have been completed. But you know, Pat stood up and you know was able to break that pass up. So that was pretty huge, you know. And, and it was fourth down, so that automatically got those guys off the field for the offense to come and you know take over.